Before you get into your next relationship, or maybe perhaps your very first relationship, I want to tell you a story. I've been quite fortunate enough to have dated quite a few people in the past. And during the very beginning, the very first few relationships, I had absolutely no standards. None whatsoever. All you needed to do was just show some sort of interest in me, and then I would be interested back. You can probably imagine how many unhealthy relationships I got into. Me, someone who's trying to better my life, then proceeded to date someone who was drinking every day, smoking weed every day, and smoking cigarettes every day. Someone who was thinking of short-term, not long-term things, and me who had complete opposite ideals, but she showed an interest in me and that was enough for me to like her back. Got into a relationship, you can probably imagine how unhealthy that was and how it didn't last very long. And I think that's one big problem that happens when people start to date. They don't really know what each other's intentions are, and you find out that you both have different ideas. One of you wants to have a long-term relationship and the other doesn't, and wants to have a short-term. So to instead avoid all of that, getting into an unhealthy relationship, yet still caring about the other person, and then it's separating, you having all this extra heartache for absolutely no reason. To prevent all of this, you're probably looking at all the green flags in a person, rather than the red flags. I think uh, if anyone who's been on the internet for, I don't know, at all, knows what a green flag or a red flag is. But what is the best green flag in a girl? And to be honest, I don't know. That's completely down to you. Everyone has their own opinions and their own ideals in life. So what I want you to do, I genuinely want you to pause this video, I want you to write down 10 green flags of the dream girl, your ideal dream future, that dream wife. I want you to write down 10 green flags, go crazy, write whatever you like, right? I want you to write down 10, 10 green flags. Okay, once you've done that, I want you to summarize it to just three, just three things. So I did this as well, uh, just before this video, and what I came up with, feminine, so they're just caring and loving, loyalty, and self-improvement. As you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I am someone who is on self-improvement. I take a huge amount of pride in my mental health, my physical, my physical health, and my financial health. I take a huge pride in how I'm doing mentally, physically. If I'm with someone who is smoking cigarettes every single day, drinking every single day, and smoking joints every day, I can't change them. I can't force them, I can't date them and then force them to start going to the gym and quitting all that straight away because that's unrealistic, that wouldn't work and then they'd probably just look at me and be like, fuck you and just dump me and leave. That's why I want you to summarize your 10 green flags to just the top three because it will give your mind a sense of clarity and also these relationships will last. You're looking for someone who's loyal, who's feminine, so just loving and caring, and also on self-improvement. All they simply are trying to do is simply better themselves, right? If you find someone who's got these three green flags or wherever it is for you, those relationships are actually going to last. However, if I dated someone who showed a little bit of interest in me, so I showed interest back, we end up dating. However, she is not on self-improvement, she's not loyal, she's not caring or loving, she drinks every day, she goes out and smokes a joint every day. Obviously, that relationship isn't going to last because we both have very different ideals. She doesn't have any of the green flags that I'm looking for. But I can't force someone, like if they have one or two of my green flags, but they're not on self-improvement, I can't force someone to then go on to self-improvement. These three green flags that you have, they are non-negotiables. You cannot change them for anything else. Because ultimately, you can't force the other person to change. I can't force anyone onto self-improvement. I can advise, I can help, I can give my experiences to help you in your journey, but I can't force you onto self-improvement because ultimately that comes down to you. That's why it's called self-improvement. You have to decide for your own. Because if I force you onto it, it won't last. And to be honest, that's all it comes down to. Before you date someone, no matter what the three green flags you have chosen for yourself, 
you have chosen something that will allow you and your significant other to become partners. Partners are someone who work together on the same path, on the same journey. Someone who can support each other. If you are dating someone who, or you're about to date someone who isn't like that at all, isn't really caring about you at all, doesn't really want to support you on the path you're taking because they aren't on the same path as you, then it's not going to last. Say if I was a smoker or someone who's partying every single night, drinking every single night, has no aspiration or big goals for my future or future family, I just want to go out drinking every night, dating with someone who wants to have a future where it's not like that, a family who is on self-improvement and wants to go to the gym more, wants to improve our mental health more, obviously I'm going to bring her down because I'm not supporting her path and she's not supporting my path. When you are dating someone, you need to be partners. That's the most important thing. Hopefully this helped you out and I hope things are good and I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video in the corner because maybe this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, come here, something from you.